Hi, it's Susan Mershon, the Techie Mentor. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's tip is on Microsoft Excel using the filtering and sorting features on a spreadsheet. So first of all, I am on a Mac. So if you look at your screen and look at mine and they look different, that's because you're probably on a PC. And just know that what we're going to do works exactly the same way on both systems. It's just that your buttons and your menus will probably be in a little different order than mine. But everything works the same way. So first of all, let's just real quickly talk about the structure of my document. You'll notice that the first row, row one, contains my column IDs or my, my header names. And it just basically tells us what goes in each column. And then if I scroll down, notice there's no rows of in, empty rows of information. Now I know a lot of people add empty rows because they like the way it looks when you're breaking up sections of a document, but I don't recommend that you do that if you're going to sort it or filter it because what Excel does is it looks for the first empty row and it stops. So when it filters or sorts, you're going to get inconsistent results. So first and foremost, before you do any sorting, I recommend that you save your document just in case something goes wrong. Then you can always close it and reopen it without saving the, the messed up document. You can close it, reopen the original, and then move forward. So if you have empty rows of data because you like the way it looks, I suggest that you delete those. And you can always put them back when your sorting and filtering is done. If you don't, just keep in mind you may get inconsistent results. So one header row, or excuse me, row one contains your header information and then there's no empty rows of data beneath that. So if I want to sort, it's a pretty simple procedure. All I basically have to do is click anywhere in the column that I want to sort. So for instance, if I want to sort by country region, I'm just going to click here on the first entry in that column. And I'm looking for the Z to A and A to Z buttons. Now, you may have two if you're on a PC. I'm on a Mac, so I only have this one. But basically, all you need to do is click on it. So if I click on it now, Z to A is going to do an, a descending, which means it's going to sort from the letter Z to the letter A. Ascending would do the opposite, which would be letter A to letter Z. So I'm going to hit the drop down here because I do want to do ascending, and I'm going to click on it. And notice that it highlights the entire document and then sorts accordingly. Okay. Pretty simple. Now if I want to go over here and do it by city, same thing, I'm going to click. And if I want to do descending, I'll click on descending and you'll notice now it goes from Z to A, so largest to smallest versus smallest to largest. Very, very simple. If you don't have a button on your button bar, you'll have a data menu which also has the sort feature in it. You can do a data sort and from there you can tell it what column and what order you want to sort it by and then simply click on OK. So that'll do the same thing for you. So I'm going to go over here to state or province and I'm going to go ahead and click A to Z and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it does look like it sorted it correctly. And it did. Perfect. So that's sorting. Very simple to do. Now let's say that I want to just concentrate on one piece of my information. I want to just look at my my French clients for instance. So just the ones here that are in, in the country of France. So I'm going to scroll back to the top of my document and I'm going to click anywhere in row one and I'm going to turn on the auto filter feature which is this looks like a coffee filter. You'll have it on your toolbar and all you have to do is click on it and it turns on the auto filter feature. It just adds the drop downs to the field names and you can turn it off this way. Now if you actually do this when you're inside the document and not on the header row it's going to turn them on and it's going to hose things up so you'll want to turn it off and turn it back on when you get to row one. So I'm looking at the country or region because I just want to look at France. And I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to simply look down here. Now again, your screen may look a little different than mine, but notice that I can sort from here too. I've got the ascending and descending options. And then I have select all and then each individual country or region. So I'm going to turn off select all, which turns them all off. And then I'm just going to click on France. And notice what it does. It just gives me French. And then I can close the box. So now I can just concentrate on my French clients. Okay, I can simply see all of their details. Now I can actually select more than one to filter. So I can go back here and click on the drop down. And I can say, okay, I really need to see the UK as well. So I click on UK. And now I have both sets of clients. I have the United Kingdom and France. And I can certainly sort while I'm in here. 
right? So it just flips France to the top and the United Kingdom at the bottom. So I can still do sorting even though I'm filtering. And you'll also notice that you have these blue rows, and the blue rows just simply let you know that you're sorting data. And you'll also notice that I have a coffee filter right here, which is the auto filter feature symbol, uh, next to country region, which tells me what is the column that I'm actually sorting and filtering on. That way I don't have to worry about which one it is. Now, a couple different ways to clear the filter so you see all your data again is if you're on a PC, you can just simply hit the F3 key on your keyboard, and that'll clear it. And for me on my Mac, I can simply click on the drop down and choose Clear Filter, and everything comes back. So, fairly simple to work with. Now, why do you want to filter? Again, I can filter data to only see specific information. So, let's say I just want to see the states. And then maybe I want to create a chart of just the United States. Or maybe I want to copy this information and create a whole different list for just the United States. So these are reasons why I do filtering. Okay, And again, F3 on your keyboard for a PC will clear this for you. For me, I'm just going to go in here and choose Clear Filter, and I get everything back. Okay? So just a real quick lesson on sorting and filtering. You can find sorting under the data, the, the data menu, excuse me, and you can also find filtering under here as well. So if you don't have the buttons on your toolbar, you can use the data menu to get that information as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. Please, if you did, find this a value, share with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also let everybody know via Facebook or Twitter or any of your social media tools how much you enjoyed this. So thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.